up, fuckers? Yes, it's been a while, but I've been busy. I've been fucking off. I wasn't out here because it wasn't fucking cold and shit. No, no. No, no. I just had to focus, bro. Which I was not doing. So, I'm about to load this bowl. Fuck this thing is bowl. That's the thing, it ain't the bowl, it's the stem. There's so much fucking weed that is doing this. Alright. So, a lot. A lot. Since, oh, I almost tried to fucking throw that in the stem. Anyways, a lot since my last video, and I did actually make a couple of videos that I was going to put up and just didn't. I didn't like them and I don't know. So, not sure what we're going to do today as usual, but we'll fucking figure something out. Don't fucking keep you guys busy. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Let's take the ceremonial toe. So, got a plug. I'll start bringing some shit while I'm fucking hitting this. I didn't want to touch it without gloves. Fuck your community standards, YouTube. We don't care. Until I delete this motherfucking channel. So... If you're not, if you have Facebook and you're not on the DIY board builders group, you're fucking up. Go get on it. There's a ton of information. I added a bunch of shit myself, which I'll show you, but it's a fucking video, so not much you're going to be able to do with it. And I don't fucking uh, add links. You guys already know that. So... One of the finished guys, almost. This is almost there. Just needs a little. Look at that. Look at those curves, bro. Well, you lucky there. So dope, bro. So, this is this. Mirror wax. Okay? You can pick it in like fucking any color. I picked, I don't fucking know, oh, marine blue, that one. Anyways, when you put this shit on, don't worry about getting it on the rails, you can fucking sand it right off and actually get a super clean line. That, that is no tape, that is all sand. You can do it, it's fucking easy. Um, what you want to pay attention for is thick spots. I had a lot of issue with thick spots. Um, the shit will gum up really fast. I was using a fucking uh, spray bottle, right? Just a light little whoosh from super far back, just kind of wake it up. And then after, so basically my application was a brush, brush it on as fast as I could, super thick. Then take rags and just start pulling it all off right immediately wiping it off wiping it off once that's done and then constantly checking the other side did it go through i don't care about the rails that's getting sanded but is it on the face going back and forth right because it'll get all over everything get everything wiped off um fuck i just oh and then afterwards right like those once it's all like clean it almost seems like it's done those rags are just oversaturated but still like moist, just keep rubbing them in, rubbing them in, and it'll keep adding color. So at first I didn't like this shit, 
Now I love it, dude. This is all I want to use. And you guys can see it really like complements the wood grain so well. You know, it does not hide hide it at all. So I was pretty stoked on that. So that's just about ready for silk screen and lacquer. Then we've got I so have nowhere in this fucking garage for finished. We got the green. We got the motherfucking green. Look at the lines. This I did tape, okay? This is, I haven't done this side, so I'm probably gonna show you fuckers how to do it. So I picked up four colors, they're pretty cheap. It's like eight or nine bucks a bottle. Um, this one specific was, I don't know, were they not? Oh, there it is. Dragon's Belly? Anyways. Bam! That's what that is. Unicorn Spit. I got it at fucking Fred Meyer. Directions as far as diluting it, like I tried it with isopropanol type shit. It chunks it out. I've seen people on YouTube look when you're mixing your shit and it's chunking it up, something's probably amiss. And even if you're still willing to use it, you gotta fucking strain it, and then you're still not guaranteed. Fuck that, dude. I ain't using that, so I ditched that. Um, it recommends water. 10% max dilution. So I measured out 10% of what I used in water, added that, and that was the color I got. Super fucking dark. I just, it, I literally filled this dish about that much and used a little more than half. So I'm gonna use it on the other side. So you can see what I did. I just put a bag over it and taped it, and this shit will keep just fine. Uh, so that was that guy. Next, I've made a ton of molds, I've made a ton of boards, I've done a ton of finishing, I've done zero silk screen, fix some fucking price. I saw this and thought it was the raddest shit ever and wanted one and then kind of forgot about it and then saw it again. You fucking better believe I'm making a fucking coffin board. Shut your fucking face, bro. Fuck you. Stay down! Fucking what? Look at that thing. Wait, well, look at there. So, this just came off Saturday or Sunday, so it's got like fucking two weeks to fucking, where I can do anything to it. It's super annoying. Um. This is the mold I used. I didn't think I write, wrote any of the specs on this one. But yeah, this was the mold that she came from. And I've been leaving my boards when they cure on the mold. I don't, I mean, I don't, you don't have to, because I didn't in the beginning and never had any issues, but I don't know, it just seemed like the right place to keep it, and it does kind of keep them nice, uh, like for storing purposes. So there's that, and as you can see, I got this veneer. That is um, newer. I'm trying to pull one of these out. Just for a visual. Actually, I think I'm going to pull it up inside. Hold on. So, the original veneer I was using. Is this. This is 
What I use on all my boards, it is 35 and a half by like 10, I want to say. Not even 10. So, kind of limited, you know, but that's okay because, you know, I wasn't trying to make anything super crazy right off the bat, so I was totally fine with that. I, I needed to get more veneer. And you'll never fucking believe I bought it locally. Crazy, right? And that was just from going around to just different skate shops, just shooting the shit with people, checking shit out, seeing what they have, letting them know, hey, this is who I am, what I'm doing. And it just came up in casual conversation. A skate shop referred me to a business that is 10 minutes from my house. It was two minutes from my job site when I picked that up at lunch. Um, no shipping handling. I, at first, I wasn't sure what kind of a deal I was or wasn't getting, but I paid the same that I paid for those other ones that I first showed you, I got more and they're way bigger. And that is these guys. Look at the fucking size of that monster. Yeah, 10 boards worth of that shit, right? And this. is over 44, it's like 44 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter, motherfuckers. That's a big ass fucking veneer. The problem is, is I'm not using that much veneer. So the last couple of boards I've made, which have actually been the smallest boards I've made to date, um, so I've, I've actually been using kind of a mixture. Uh, I have been, where in the fuck is my fucking fuck? Hold on, stand by. Stand by, guys. Where's the rest of that shit? Oh, here it is. Fuck, So, basically, every veneer I've used so far from my new stuff, this is what I'm taking off. This much material. Well, and I don't even think that's the full length. So I'm not going to take that much off. But, I now have a bunch of these and a bunch of these. Oh, wonder what somebody could do. Oh, you're right. Soak screen squeegees, motherfuckers. But I haven't stopped making boards. Since my last video, I've made like four boards, I think. So, once I get a fucking free time in a bag. I need more bags. We're gonna use these to make our silkscreen shit. Cause, I mean, it's time. I can't avoid it any fucking longer, unfortunately. So there's that. Another big fucking one I'm super hyped on. Okay, so, just to back up before I go into this one, so I do a lot of research online about all of this shit, right? Like every day, all day. If I have a moment to get on my phone, I'm Googling some variation about skateboard building somewhere, somehow, watching a video about it or silk screen, etc., etc. In that process, I found a lot of good materials that I've since printed. So, I can't give it to you, right? I'm not fucking downloading this shit to give you, fuck you the link. I had to, dude, it took me a long time to get this. You want it, join DIY uh, board builders on Facebook. Like, dude, all the guys who have the YouTube videos out there, they're all in there and they're giving you like one-on-one -on -one information if you want it, it's, it's dope. And the wealth of information on there, like if I would have had that from get-go, it, it told me the majority of the stuff I had to hunt for weeks for 
and still didn't know half the shit I found on there. Anyways, so this goes over a bunch of things. One of the, oh, I can take these off. One of the things in particular, and I did not write this. I'm not like copyright infringing it. I'm not selling it. I just composed several different sources of shit together in a growing, not even a binder, because I'm too lazy to put it in it. Uh, book, whatever. And it's all on board making. So, so just these right here. That's that one. Maybe we'll make a mold today. So, this right here walks you fucking step by step how to make. Is it upside down? It is. How to make your fucking molds, right? And and explains and you do it mathematically correct. It's using the appropriate geometry, trigonometry, and all the other shit it tells you to do. And I'll show you what this result of this is in a sec. And it's phenomenal. Just like afterwards, and I'm going to show you that too, about transferring all your stuff, which I kind of did, but not like I'm doing now. Um, dude, in something stupid, making your templates. I get dollar store brown roll craft paper, roll it out. That's what I make my templates on, draw them out. Then I transfer them to RAM board, and then that's what I transfer them, all of my hard shit. But they talk about that and how to set it up, which had several good tips but just fucking cut diamonds out of the middle right those diamonds that you cut out of the middle of it allows you to line it perfectly with your center line your midline your truck line your fucking mom's line whatever the fuck you want it to line up and you can see it dude fucking see it um i put a bunch of shit like this where i just screenshotted got in close where you could fill the blank in yourself uh, that's for a fish I got one for like a street board too and it goes even further where you can enter all your measurements just just a ton of stuff so obviously I'm not gonna show you every little piece of this oh uh, one more um, but what I'm getting at is if you're building these, dude, you don't even need YouTube anymore. It, once you fucking make a copy of this one and what I'm about to show you, I use that in conjunction with this and things like these, motherfucker, right? Explaining widths, tail links, stance, kick nose. But then it breaks it down in these charts of all of them. This one is for wheelbase. Why are you skating? Transportation or tricks? Transportation, okay. Do you need a board that's small and easy to travel with? Yes. Wheelbase, 12 to 16. No. Do you prefer maneuverability or stability? Stability, 16 to 30. Maneuverability, 13 to 18. Tricks, what style of tricks? More dancing and racing. It, it, it fucking tells you all your general wheelbases in conjunction with this guy, typical wheelbase, street deck, right? Fucking transition, longboard, surf skate, sorry, it's backwards. Um, and it tells you all of those. It goes into, fuck, what is it? It's wheelbase with links, concave drop, concave style, kick nose and kick tail, tail length, which is a huge one. Gives you all your tail links, dude, for all the different kinds of skating and breaks it down with a little chart of what tails do what. Nose links. Uh, 
nose and angles and radii, right? Now it has all your radii or your fucking your degrees of what you need to set them at. Tail angles, nose angles, all the degrees, all that shit's in there. I downloaded all that, dude. Facebook. Go fucking get it. Do yourself a fucking favor, dude. All right. So, and with that, I now have changed to making my molds night and day different from what they were. God, I can't even fucking collate paper. I'll show you the mold first. This is what my molds look like now. Fuck your face. You're kidding me, right? Nope, not at all. Not at all, bro. Um, so this is for my kid. She, well, she's been on videos that I'm pretty sure I posted. She's small, she's like eight. But uh, I have all my mold info, which is, it's 29 inches. Eight inches wide. The nose is six and a half at 20 degrees. Tail is 6.0 at 19 degrees. Concave is a half. Drop at 10 degrees. My flat is one inch. Wheelbase, uh, 10 and a quarter, 14 and a quarter, both marks. Um, Uh, and this is a cross between a micro and a mini. And I took into consideration her stance, her size, her age, how she rides, her weight, her shoe size, because all that's in that, that shit I just fucking told you about. Go get it. And made this. And, I mean, I'm putting like where my wheel bases theoretically go, everything on this. And then, now I'm transferring, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but I'm transferring all those fucking marks onto the board and marking them out. So this looks a little weird because it's so small, so it looks like fucking, ooh, that looks like, ooh, such a big board. But really it's not that big. It's just the tail and the nose are double what they're going to be. But this is the new little ripstick, which I am fucking hyped on. Look how clean that came out, dude. So good. My kid is stoked. So this is gonna be basically about like that, where my fingers are. So past the fingers, all that material is gone. And then somewhere in here. But yes, so stoked. Then, in addition to that, uh, I made, I generally like bigger boards and wider boards. So that's what I've been making a lot of. Um, but like we've talked about, I want to start getting boards out, you know, and I, I need to start preparation of having the appropriate boards and board sizes for the targeted demographic, which is, I don't know, eight, 10, all the way up to like 17-ish, you know, like youngest being like, the youngest you can be and go to the skate park on your own, up to, if you're a grown man, dude, Go buy one or steal one yourself. I'm not gonna do it for you. Kids, yeah, I'll buy you one, I'll steal you one, that's fine. So, those are the kids we wanna give the boards out to. So this guy, right here, what? Look at that thing, bro. Look at that, actually, let me fucking. Cause I wanna look at it too. But yeah, in this mold, you can't tell because the boards on it is made just like the last one and this one's dimensions I have written down somewhere are a lot smaller um, I think this is like an 8 inch board which is the 
thinnest one I'll have to date. I also, look at this tweaker ass shit. So, it may be kind of hard to see because it's not very light over there. I don't know if this flashlight even works. No. Anyways, micro, mini, actually you can see, mid, standard. So I took all your basic board sizes, right? And the inside of the line, well, I kind of fucked up. So the measurement goes from that crack to the inside of that line. And then the width goes from the inside of this line to the inside of this line. So if I'm making a board, I can come stand and get a visual and then these are definitely harder to see, but I did red lines that indicate all the other sizes. It's getting beat up, but these indicate what, which each line is, you know, starting with seven and a half width. So from that to that seven and a half, all the way up to 10. So that to that is 10. And then I went from 29, which is the smallest the standard board generally is, and stopped at uh, 30 th or 33, yes, 33. So, and then <sighs> on the bottom of each one, so this is a mid. This is generally for uh, a rider that age, that height, shoe size. The width are usually seven and a quarter or bigger. Lengths are around 29. Wheelbase. Uh, and I just did that all the way <laughs> down the road here. Crazy, right? And then here's my quick reference sheet of those things. So I know right there, just as a general statement, that's what all that shit falls into. And then different stances and then my, for my trucks, my cheat sheet. So this shit is pretty rad. And then I don't know if you guys saw this, I think so. The, my fucking painting table slash whatever table. Uh, fuck, what else? Yeah, look at that, dude. Just out of control, bro. Out of control. And then this has been my sanding routing station. We've got some other boards over there. So, now that we're... 30 fucking minutes in. Well, let's do this. I'm gonna stop it, because that's super fucking long. And then we're gonna go straight into staining, because I have a bunch that need to be stained, maybe paint, possibly design a mold. My, my fucking foam I got last time was fucked up. So this is just an update of where we're at. So I'm gonna start downloading this as we speak and I will see you guys in a second.